Hey guys, it's Miss Coughlin. So this is day three, four um, of your word study for this week, which is rupt, which you talked about with Mrs. Cole, um, which if we go back to our slide, we can see that it means to break or to burst. So we're going to talk about a few more words today um, that have that root of rupt in it for break or burst. So um, if we look at this picture, it looks like all of these kids are reading super quietly by themselves. Um, and nobody is talking to them, so nobody is disrupting them. So we would call that uninterrupted. Um, let me see, I'm gonna get out of this so I can draw on my screen here. Um, so we have our root of rupt, which means that to break or to burst, like we talked about. Um, but this prefix here of un means not. So uninterrupted means that they are not breaking or reversing their train of thought, really, um, how they're thinking about something. Um, so that one's uninterrupted. Abruptly. So if we look at this person, he looks like he's speaking to this other person, maybe not so nicely. Um, and if we think about rupt, like you guys just told me, or um, we just talked about means to break or to burst. So it's um, abruptly doing something means that you're breaking or bursting like the calmness of the conversation or the room. Um, it looks like this man is very abruptly talking to somebody that he's, he's breaking the whole concentration of the class for whatever he's about to say. Um, and then we go on to this um, same pictures of all three of these kids. But if I wanted to um, say I wanted to walk in and I started talking to all three of those kids, what might that be called? What might you say about me? What am I doing to them? Um, I would use the word disrupting. So if I think about um, what I hear in the word disrupt, um, I could hear the base word of or the um, prefix of dis. So I would put dis and then my base word or my root of rupt that we're talking about. So then I would have rupt. So disrupt. So we don't want to um, we don't want to break their concentration there. So we don't want to disrupt them. OK, these are doctors and sometimes they have to um, take organs or parts of your body out if they do something what's called rupturing so breaking or bursting inside of your body um, oftentimes you hear about your appendix rupturing so your appendix basically um, blows up inside your body so they have to go in and take it out so um, rupturing so if i think about rupt sure so we've got rupt, oops, right, rupt, rupturing. My handwriting is not very good on the computer screen, but rupturing. So something that's br bursting or breaking, um, most oftentimes they talk about this with doctors and it's inside your body. Oops. Okay, so if we look at these sentences and I said the electricity went out during the thunderstorm. The electricity blank went out during the thunderstorm. So the electricity uninterrupted went out during the thunderstorm. The electricity rupturing went out during the thunderstorm. The electricity disrupt went out during the thunderstorm. Or the electricity abruptly went out during the thunderstorm. So if I think about something that happens, that kind of um, happens without any notice, that would be abruptly. So um, abruptly would be, go here. I'm going to change my color for the next one. The nails at the construction site keep blank the tires of people in the new neighborhood. Keep uninterrupting the tires, disrupting the tires, or rupturing the tires. And remember, it's something that um, makes it blow up. And so if you think about a tire, it has a tube on the inside. And if you poke it, it's like a balloon and it ruptures. So um, rupturing. <sighs> Find a different color. Number three says it is a rare occasion that we have a blank day of learning, an uninterrupted day of learning or a disrupt day of learning. Um, 
uninterrupted day of learning would mean that we didn't have a guest speaker, an assembly, a field trip, any of those things. So uninterrupted day of learning. Um, number four, if she talks to me while the teacher is teaching, it will blank my thinking. It will disrupt my thinking. It will um, it will break my train of thought. It will um, disrupt my train of thought. And this is day four, still working on the same root. And remember, our goal is I can determine the meaning of a root word. Um, so if we think about this, it says, as the graph shows, the bankruptcies of both business and personal filings are closely related. And I know that you talked about bankrupt um, before, so meaning, meaning that your bank bankruptcies, meaning that more than one person is filing for bankruptcy, more than one person doesn't have enough money to keep going. Um, so bankruptcy. All of his dirty dealings caught up with him, and now is he, now he is sorry I have the hiccups, and now he is in jail on corruption charges. So if we think about things that might um, might cause somebody to go to jail. Um, corruption would mean somebody that's like um, breaking or disturbing the peace of something. So maybe they are fighting or they're. Um, being disrespectful in um not just like talking during an assembly but like maybe they've come in and tried to take it over so um that would be corruption i knew puppy causes all types of disruptions at our house but he sure is adorable so we go back to that um dis and then we have rupt so disrupt if i'm disrupting you i'm breaking your chain of thought i'm breaking where you th where you think you're going with things i bet a new puppy would be really disruptive to your house so that's something that puppies kind of have to get used to though um so it doesn't really have a, a video or anything for this but if i was talking and somebody else came in and they started talking right now too what might they we call that that they came in and they interrupted my conversation with you so if i think about the parts that i hear in interrupt i hear interrupt so um inter could be we know inter could look like this but this one is actually inter and then rupt no two r's or well there is supposed to be two r's uh interrupt so maybe um Chandler, this is a friend's character, maybe Chandler is interrupting Joey because Joey looks like he's astonished that somebody has stopped him from talking. So maybe that's what's going on there. Um, and then this one is corrupting. Um, maybe this passage is corrupting her reading. I'm not sure where they were going with that picture. Um, but if we think about corrupting, we think about corrupting. So um oops core and then we have rupt and then we have in so corrupting um we have those three syllables that's why we have that double r in there it's not a floss rule it's um each syllable has its own er sound in the syllable so corrupting um, and so something that you could do if you have some extra paper at your house and you've got some extra time, I don't, ah, I was trying to erase it, sorry. Um, you could do one of these four things. Um, it says option one, write sentences that have the rupt word in them that relate to the picture provided. So they're talking about the picture that's um, right here and it's a volcano eruption. Maybe the lava is going to, um, disrupt the um the surroundings and you can just come up with as many sentences as you can for this picture that have words that have the word or the um, root rupt in them um you can do a frayer model where you um this is a frayer model right here so you would write rupt in the middle and then you would write what it means facts or characteristics about it examples with the word rupt in it and non-examples of the word rupt so words that don't mean um to rupt 
um, or a word wheel. Uh, we used to do these a lot in class. So you just come up with eight of the words. We talked a lot, a, about a lot of different words that have repped, but maybe if you don't come up with any, you could um, talk to your parents, see if they know any. You could do a Google search for words with repped in it. Um, and then the last one um, is a tableau, is a still picture or snapshot of a scene created by a group of people. Um, this might be kind of hard unless you have a lot of siblings at home that are willing to do this with you. So maybe you do and maybe you want to do this and that's fine too. So I hope you guys have a great day and let me know if you guys have any questions.